Hey everyone, I want to talk to you today about baptism. Baptism is a super important part of a Christian's life and in the church, and it's something that not everybody knows a lot about. And so today I want to unpack that with you. Now, before we jump into all the details, I want to share with you one particularly important passage known as the Great Commission. And in it, Jesus is going to give some general advice for all Christians to listen to and what we do. And so here's what he says. He says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And so in there, we see Jesus instruct us to do two things. One, make disciples. That's sharing our faith. It's helping to grow and develop those new believers and uh, grow them to be mature. And then number two is to baptize them, to baptize those disciples. What does that mean? And that's what I want to talk about. And so as we go through this, we're going to actually go through three different parts. The first thing is we're going to talk about what it is. Secondly, we're going to talk about uh, why you should do it. And thirdly, we're going to talk about when you should do it. And so first of all, what is baptism? Well, a simple definition of what baptism is, is just to be immersed. That's what the word literally means in the original Greek language is to be immersed, immersion. And so that's this picture that we have of what baptism looks like. And the Bible talks about baptism really in two different contexts. Number one, baptism of the Spirit. And number two, baptism of Uh, a water baptism that we're more familiar with. And the two of those things are directly related. And so let's talk about that. And and I think the best source for information here comes from the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 6. He explains that baptism is tied to what Jesus did to us, uh, for us, through his death and his resurrection. It's tied to the gospel. And so here's Romans chapter 6, verses 3 through 4. He says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. So baptism is really our connection with the work of Jesus Christ. Baptism of the Spirit is that miracle that takes place inside of us when we put our faith in Jesus for the first time. And just like Jesus died and resurrected, he, he, he literally takes our old life and re- gives us new life in that same way with him miraculously through the work of the Holy Spirit. It's something that happens inside of us. And then water baptism is a public symbol of that baptism of the Spirit. It's something that we do to explain to the world and declare that to the world that we have made that decision, that that work has been done inside of us, and that we have new life. And so that's the importance of water baptism. And so in summary, baptism of the Spirit is something that happens inside of us, uh, that work God does, and water baptism is the outward expression of the work that God did inside of us. So number two, why should you get baptized? Well, I have three things that I want to share with you. The first is just simply that it's God's idea. Jesus commanded it, right? And it comes out a bunch of other times in scripture as well. It's something that every believer should do. And so really, it's an act of obedience to say yes to God to go and take that step. And while we don't believe it's required for salvation, we do think it's something that everybody needs to take. The second reason is because it's a chance to publicly declare your faith. Right? I love the picture in the, uh, the New Testament, right? There, these baptisms would have been done very publicly, right? People would have gathered, they would have been outside. Other people would have had the chance to walk up and see this moment where there's a person who's saying, God has done a new work in me. And that public declaration of faith is just so cool um, of just somebody being uh, doing that and sharing their story in that way. And then number three, it's an opportunity to invite other believers into your faith journey. You guys, uh, we are meant to do life together. And so this is such a cool way to get to share this moment with other people, to invite them to, to speak into your life, be a part of your journey as you grow up in faith, etc. This is a cool chance to take this step together. And so I think those are the three big reasons why baptism is so important. So then lastly, uh, the, the final part of the video is just when should you get baptized? It's a big question people ask, and I think the Bible talks about it pretty clearly. The model that is always set before, before us is that you should get baptized as soon as you've put your faith in Jesus Christ. It's, it's the immediate next step. Um, in fact, there's a lot of examples of this in Scripture. In Peter's sermon in Acts chapter 2 is a big one where he shares the gospel, and thousands of people hear the gospel, and what's so cool is that, that it shares that all those people who put their faith in Jesus Christ immediately go and get baptized in that moment. It's step one, step two. It's all tied together, and they didn't wait. And there's another story of Philip sharing his faith with an Ethiopian man, and it, the, he, the Ethiopian man puts his faith in God, and it's so cool. The next time they find water, that's when the Ethiopian man says, you know what? 
what? I want to get baptized now. It wasn't two years down the road. It wasn't five years down the road. It was immediately. And so I, I want to share that I think that there can be some misconceptions out there that you just need to wait till you hit this, this you know, expert Christian status or that you're at a certain level of maturity. And the reality is, is that the Bible just says you need to have just put your faith in Jesus, and then you should go and get baptized and make that decision public uh, in front of the world and invite your family in to be a part of it. And so I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if you're listening today and you haven't yet made that decision to get baptized, I hope you do very soon. Thanks for watching.